Okay, now before I get started on, you know, what I was going to show you, um, then this is to uh, Zinx. Uh, there was, uh, I'm sorry. That the, the, the person that, that knows uh, something about Unix, obviously, because of their the way they named their, their PSN account. Anyway, before I get into this, I just want you to watch this funny thing real quick. Because I'm not trying to show any of the the, the 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 traumatizing stuff in this in this thing. So just bear with it. Watch as much as you can. If you if you feel like watching it later, bro, just do it later. But at least watch. If you're gonna watch it, watch the whole thing, please. Thank you. Or just at least have it playing in the background. Thank you. Watch watch this watch this shit. This chick is this chick you about to see. She gonna sound like she don't know what she talking about, but that's the thing about women. They they know what they be doing, but they just be pretending like they don't know shit, right? This chick is a geek. Watch this shit. Watch. Twelve. And uh, who's your favorite Marvel comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto: With great power comes great responsibility. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you again. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that shit right there, bro? You see it? You see that shit right there, bro? That's the shit I'm talking about. She know, she even if she don't know, she don't care. She wants to irritate some of these nerds to the max. Like, why are y'all so anal about that shit? Does it fucking matter? Look, look, look at her face. She knows she she know what she doing. And uh, who's your favorite Marvel comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto: With great power comes great responsibility. Yes. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you again. She shut all the nerds well, up. Like, shut and, the hell uh, up. Who's your favorite Marvel comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? Oh, yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. Oh, yeah. Have a great Keep night, going. I we'll love it. I love well, it. And, uh, that that gets filed under funny as fuck. Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? Yeah, piss them off. With great power comes great responsibility. Have a great night, piss everyone. We'll see off. you again at six. Love it. I love it. Uh, and now uh, our feature presentation. Right. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm really trying not to laugh. This flashlight can burn through anything. Cardboard. Plastic. Metal. You name it. This U.S. Army engineer built a device to give Americans the peace of mind they deserve when outside in the dark. And he's destroying the $300 billion flashlight industry in the process, with a device that can light up an entire city. And awesome. analysts predict that every home in the U.S. will have this device by 2024. Here's how the story began 10 months ago. Richard Parker used to work as an engineer in the Army. When working in the Army, they were obligated to always carry around their tactical flashlight one of the most underrated survival tools. Yes. This flashlight was so strong it could be used to start a fire. But when Richard retired from the army, he had to give it back. And since it has never before been available to the public, he started looking for a flashlight that was similar in size and brightness, but couldn't find any that were strong enough. After deep. searching for weeks without success, Richard decided to take the matter into his own hands, blessed with his gift for engineering. That's Richard deep. started building the ultimate tactical flashlight. He couldn't believe how good it turned out. It was even stronger than the shit. flashlights they used in the army. I love he had that to make shit. it available to the public. After months of testing and getting the right permits, EliteTac was born. EliteTac is the brightest flashlight of its kind and works by using the most advanced LED technology, making it 20 times brighter than regular flashlights. Check out the difference yourself. EliteTac is made from military-grade aluminum making it the most durable flashlight on the market. Yeah, EliteTac is strong enough to withstand both freezing temperatures and boiling water, yeah, as it. well as flaming hot fire. I believe it. You can even run it over, and it will keep working. I believe it. This flashlight is the perfect survival tool, strong enough to even cook an egg. That, now that shit is fucking crazy. That, that is crazy. Apart from high, medium, and low light, the EliteTac also has a strobe and SOS function. Perfect right. for any emergency situation. Right. Richard wants as many people code. as possible to know about this tactical flashlight, to feel secure in any situation. This is why he decided not to spend anything on advertising. Why? Keeping why? the price low and affordable. To why? cut the cost further, 
he is selling Elite Tech exclusively online. Right. And only today you can get a 50% discount. Man, if I had so the money, the I'd pay full price for that Elite shit. Tech Fuck today. the discount. I'd pay full price and get two. <laughs> I swear. I would. I really would. But limited stock because he's making them himself. What do you want the guy to do? Right, I'm going to be quiet. actually a really no fucking sad movie. Thing. It's really sad. It is better to be alive. My orders are to weed out all non-hackers, my beloved goal. The Americans understand that. Sir, yes, sir. I'm the Joker. Why did you join my beloved goal? Sir, to kill, sir. Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah! That's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! I got to pause right here. This is this was the most depressing part of the movie for me, right? This guy, the the drill sergeant. He's afraid of that guy. The reason he's afraid of that guy because th when he went in, he already looked like he was on, on the verge of a psychotic break. That's why he spent so much time with him. He's like, "Yo, are you okay?" And then you shout, and like, yo, can you answer me? He's not saying shit. All right. You got a heart on then. But you you obviously want to kill somebody. Who the fuck do you want to kill? That's why it was so depressing for me. I'm not going to say anything more if you haven't seen the movie. If, you see, if you've seen the movie, uh, you know, you already know what happens. But if you have not seen the movie, just know that this is what inspired Full Metal Alchemist, the anime. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? Okay. Your face. Sir, yes, sir. Are you through grinning? Sir, yes, sir. I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. You people have not given private pile the proper motivation. Everybody hates me now. Get on your faces. I can't do anything right. I need help. Exercise. One, two, three, four. Ah, the three, four, one, two, three, four, ah, the three. 
and this is the part that fucked my head up the worst, bro. It, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it right here. I, I am gonna stop it right here. Uh, that, yeah, that's yeah. I gotta stop it. Now you see this face right here. I want you to remember this face and do not forget it for the rest of your life. I'm not playing with you guys. I'm not joking. There's nothing funny about what, what I'm saying right now. I'm being as serious as I possibly can right now. All right? 